So, what do these syrups bring me? Um, a lot of extra comfort, really, on the trek course itself, when you must stay very long time on a horse and um, you need to count distances. Most of the time we're in posting trot or two-point cantering, and um, thanks to these stirrups we encounter no muscular pains the next day, so we're available for the next ride. Um, on a classic stirrup, really, the main difference is that you need to lower your heel to find your balance back, and it is a lot more difficult. Um, with the stirrup caval, um, your foot touches the floor, uh, gaining in balance, and the moment you normally need to find your balance back becomes a real gain of time in the course. On top of that, when losing your balance, your steps do not move nor get lost completely, so you avoid getting into serious difficulties, which, of course, um, can be very, very difficult within a course to gain the time back. To talk about safety a little bit, um, for my experience, um, two weeks ago at the French Championship um, Senior Elite, um, I fell off during the night orientation course. Um, well, actually, my horse and I both um, fell together. And um, there definitely is a security and a safety within this stirrup because the back of the stirrup detaches and um, allows you to get your feet off the saddle and the stirrups uh, after you fell. It definitely changes from classic stirrups where the feet can get stuck within the stirrups. And um, definitely, you know, this um, safety avoids um, dramatic situations. There's a guy that came to me once and um, told me he had two weeks to prepare an adventure raid somewhere, um, I don't remember, in the eastern countries, I think. Um, in that raid, there was a riding day and the guy had no idea on how to ride a horse. So um, he needed to learn how to ride just for that day uh, on a horse during that raid. So we tried first on classic stirrups, the first two lessons, and then on a caval stirrups. The difference was huge. The rider found his balance after 20 minutes and we started cantering two hours after. Um, a part of my job is to take customers out for hacking and leisure riding in the woods. Um, and I must turn around quite a lot first to see what is going on, and then also to show them animals and natural beauties we encounter, um, and animate the ride itself really. So I'm up all the time, and these tips are real.